Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tim Down for Living with MS in Tenerife. It is Wednesday, the 12th of January, 2022, and this is the Aftcast. On today's short show, we're going to have a little bit of the weather. We're going to give you the latest in the COVID and some news from the news website from the government of the Canary Islands. Get to like and subscribe and ring that little bell for notifications if you're interested in more like this i try and do one every day but i'm not really good at the moment but every couple of days you'll see this if you want to hear anything else or see anything else just let me know go to timothydowd.com and send me a message if you're on the island and you want to meet up don't forget to register in timothydowd.com send me an email tell me where you're going to be uh, usually we try and meet up Monday nights here in Kaya Saraki, but lately I've been a bit ill, so I haven't been down there. So contact me in. If you can't get down to me, I'm sure we could swing by to you uh, for an afternoon or something like that, not the evenings. But Monday evening we could do. Okay, so let's start with the weather. According to my weather forecast, it's going to be nice and sunny till about Monday, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, a bit cloudy. Could even be rain, but uh, you know that's like here. They say it's going to rain, then it never does, or then it pours down. One of the two. So uh, typically, though, it's nothing. So 21 degrees as a high. Uh, obviously, that's in the shade. Um, it's a lot hotter in the sun. Uh, when the sun does go down, you probably do need a cardigan, though. And there is a front out to our west, which may pop in and give us a bit of trouble. That's probably what this is next week, Monday sometime. Just keep an eye on that if you're coming in. And that was your weather for Wednesday, the 12th of January, 2022. So let's take a look at the COVID figures now and the COVID figures for the whole of the Canary Islands are up to 75,700 and a dot. And there's 500 plus in hospital with 70 in intensive care. If we take a look at Tenerife now, that's going to be 38,281 active cases with 315 in hospital and only 33 in intensive care. So actually the percentage of people in hospital and intensive care is less than it was. So that's a good thing. More people have been infected, which is a bad thing. So it, it could end up being something we may be able to live with. And uh, like me, I've got bronchitis and a cold and I tested negative for COVID. So we've got to live with this, right? So uh, it might be end up something that we can live with. So that'll, that'll stop all the faffing around. Wearing the mask though is always good if you're ill. So if you are ill, wear it and protect others. And that's the end of COVID. Now we'll nip over to the government website and see what's saying there. Well, sticking with the COVID theme, uh, we've got people over 40 can now and go get their booster. So if you're over 40 and you haven't had your booster yet, you can go without a um, uh, without an appointment to your local area to get your booster shot of the COVID vaccine. And if you ask them nicely, they'll give you the flu vaccine at the same time. And another one here, which is quite good, it used to be that you weren't allowed to put um, photovoltaic on your roof. You had to pay a tax because they wanted a monopoly on the electricity or something. So now um, they've taken that off and photovoltaic has gone up 400% since 2019. So there are four times as many people doing um, clean energy through the sun, solar energy, than there was three years ago, which is a good 
And I had a quick look at Janet Anscombe's website. She's not doing a daily vlog anymore, but uh, she puts up interesting stuff there. If you're interested, go to JanetAnscombe.com. Uh, one of those caught my eye is that there's been a bit of bird flu going around. And bird flu, as we know, the, there was the most virulent version, which is the H five N one, which has been devastating Israel lately. I don't know if you've seen those that in the news, but uh, they say it's one of the worst um, uh, ecological disasters that they've had in a while. And uh, it's in Spain now, so we've got in Catalonia, there is uh, the cases of the bird flu. Uh, it hasn't reached the Canary Islands yet. And, but uh, they are doing all they can to contain it and they're looking at it very carefully there in Catalonia. Uh, in fact, in the UK, there's one person, um, a human, that has been diagnosed with the bird flu because it does actually translate uh, to humans. So uh, be careful with that one. I hope that's not the next thing on the list. That's Janet Anskin. Thank you, Janet. <laughs> I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining me today for AFCAST. It's a short one today, I don't have anybody to interview, I'm not going out at the moment, still got the cough that carries you off tonight is uh, the Balcony Banter. Balcony Banter might actually go out before this, <laughs> but uh, if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that and catch up. And if it's before Balcony Banter, don't forget to tune in at 5.55. This is Tim Dow for Living With MS in Tenerife on a beautiful sunny afternoon, signing off. Thank you, my friends. Bye.